Hi, this is Eric Martin reporting Geek. I'm here with Alex Goldsmith from Gray Fox Games, who is reprinting Super Hot, the card game, originally released by Board and Dice. Now you're bringing it to the U.S. Uh, based on a video game that I have not seen, so I don't know. <laughs> I know we're moving and shooting. That's okay. Those are like basics. Yeah, that's the rules. You I did it. That, Good I, job. All right, nice talking to man, you. Man, I think that no. describes like 90% of video games. I'm not sure. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. So this is a Super Hot, as you mentioned, based off of the video game. The video game is a first-person shooter where time only moves when you do. Okay. So it's a, it's kind of that matrixy bullet time type of game. This is a game where it's a deck builder at its core, where time only moves when you move as you play cards. Okay. So. Uh, our objective is going to be to complete three different levels of goals. So we'll start off with level one, which is just one goal. As we go on, uh, we'll get two goals and then three goals at the same time. You have to do them all. Have to do them all. Uh, you can choose if you want to. If you see a goal that you don't like, you can veto it, but you're going to have to do it the next time. Okay. So you're only delaying the inevitable. Okay. So for instance, our goal for this round at the start of this game would be the line, this is this line right here, yep. these six cards, is empty in any given moment. Okay. These represent the enemies that are running at you and shooting bullets at you and doing nasty, mean things to you. Not good things. So, um, well, no one's going to like run up and hug and kiss you. I mean, like, you know, it's, it's, maybe that's a promo card we yeah, add in, the, yeah. the, the hug and kiss enemy. I don't know. That's right. I like that idea. That's anyway, right. um, so the turn plays out in a series of phases. So. You choose to wait or move. Most turns you're going to move. Um, and then we're going to use cards. So okay. in our starting hand, we have three punch cards, which give us these kinds of resources, and one dodge card. Okay. The cost to purchase cards in the row is right here in the line. Let's say, looking at this, I'd like to get uh, how about a glass? So I'll spend one, two, three of these cards. This card then comes to my new cards area. I'm going to get this card next turn. Okay. Um, I'm then going to, after using cards, all the cards I want to use, I can't use this one, there's nothing that costs one dodge that I can get my hands on. Okay. So this card is just going to stay in my hand. I then refill my hand, so I'll take this new card that I just grabbed, and I'll draw two more off of my deck. Now this is a good time to talk about ways you can lose in this game. Okay. You lose if your deck is empty. You also lose if this bullet deck is empty. You also lose if the obstacle deck is ever empty. Okay. And you also lose if there's four bullets in your hand. Okay. All right. Now that we got that out of the way, we've refilled our hand. Let's do maneuvers. So these represent your movement in the game. So I use three punches. That means I'm moving forward and handling or dealing with the first three enemies in the line. Okay. So I'm going to match up these cards with those enemies. So just like that, I now maneuver past these three cards. Okay. These will go to my discard pile. Okay. So I'll get these at a later time. I don't get these right now at a later time. The cards I use to get this, and this is very important, Go to the obstacle discard deck. Okay, setting up future obstacles. For you. Exactly. So I may use stronger cards over the course of the game. I'm going to acquire stronger cards. I'm going to then spend them, and they're going to come right back and get me. Okay. So the game is a, is a big loop in its own way, and you're trying to get through it by completing obstacles in the line. Now that we've cleared that out, we've done maneuvers. We're going to check goals. Line is empty in any given moment. No. Not quite. Didn't do that one. Um, obstacle abilities. Now we're going to look down here and see if there's anything coming at us. And sure enough. We didn't deal with this nasty dude with a shotgun. So he's gonna fire one, two bullets right at us. Okay. Not good. We're then going to refill the line. So this goes one, two, three, four, five, and six. On a future turn, we now have a bullet in the line. Right. If I were to maneuver, let's say I had played these three cards on my previous turn. I hadn't dodged the bullet for whatever reason. Uh, and I'd maneuvered past this bullet, this would now come to my hand and it would be dead weight. It's a card I, I have a very, very hard time getting rid of. Right. You can't play it in normal play. The only way you can get rid of it is through uh, this card, pliers. Let's you heal a bullet card from your hand okay. or draw a card. That's effectively the game. Okay. Uh, the line continues. Uh, things will. So will as soon as you forward. finish this, yep, we're going to turn up two new ones. Exactly. So we'll, let's Just say we've continue. completed this goal. We're going to reset this. We're going to shuffle up our all of the cards we have in our, our hand, in our deck. Shuffle up, make a new deck. We're going to take all of the cards in the obstacle discard. Shuffle them together, make a new deck. Okay. All the cards in the line. Add them to here. Shuffle it all up. Maybe poorly, maybe well. <laughs> and then deal out another six cards. Okay. So everything resets when you complete the level. 
turn up the two level cards and then go. Exactly. So I can turn up one. This one says use every card in your hand in a turn. That seems like it's doable. This one says um, uh, basically enemies have shot eight bullets and you'll track it. There's a little tracker that will go across here to let you know right. how many bullets have been shot at you. So that's something. Maybe I don't want this one so much. I'll veto this one. And we'll get and this one. In the future. Next, next turn, I have to do this goal. Okay. So in the level three, I have to do that goal. This one says if there's three bullets uh, left in the bullet's deck, this goal is accomplished. Okay. So these are the two I have to work with. And that's a just a super hunt. All it right. plays uh, solo, 1v1, uh, co-op, and 2v1. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Alex. No worries. Super hot.